Hello everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, NEC PC8801 emulator on RetroArch. So the first thing you'll need are the ROMs for the PC or the NEC PC88 emulator. So you could get it on this URL right there. Just get this one, just download it. Go to your RetroArch directory. For me, it's here. Go to Systems. Create a folder called Q U A S S Q U A S I eighty eight. So I got that information from here. Tells you you could it shows you how to use the PC eighty eight zero zero emulator on RetroArch. These are all the ROMs you need for it, which I just downloaded. This shows you how to use a dot m m three u playlist for multiple disks. And the most important thing here is that you must have, you must create a directory called QUASI88, which I created in my systems folder right here. And I dumped all the ROMs in there. I'm going to use this to unzip it here. If you don't have the 7-zip program, you could download it from here. You could download it and install it, which I did on my computer. So... I use this one because I have a, this computer is Windows, using a Windows 11 operating system with the Intel processor. So that's what I use right there. So that's, I downloaded it and installed it. So that's what you need to do also. And here's the ROM files. You just get them, just dump them into that folder. So I already did, it's there. So it's all my ROMs are in. RetroArch Systems QUASI88 folder. And that's what you do there. And you just run RetroArch. And first thing you need to do is you need to load, you need to go to main menu, load core, download a core, get the NEC, it's called the NEC PC-8000 backslash PC8800 emulator. I already downloaded it and installed it on my RetroArch. So next thing you do is let's talk about where you can get the games for this. You get the games for this at my abandoned where go to platforms go to PC eighty eight and you could download the games that are here. Some of the games you have to pay for, but most of them are free. So I'm gonna download this one for PC eighty eight. Here it is. Got PC eighty eight. I go to my PC eighty eight folder. Here's the game. I'm gonna create a directory called nineteen forty two. Put the game in here, just like so.
Now I'm going to try to run the game. So go to main menu, load content. So I'm going to select a PC 8000 emulator. It's working, so... so I'm using my controller right now. I'm not using the keyboard or anything. Pretty choppy. The NES version is definitely better than this one. This is uh, the PC-88 computer, or series of computers, it was based on an 8-bit, I think an 8-bit processor. Not sure if it has the same CPU as a Nintendo Entertainment System, but it's definitely worse than the Nintendo Entertainment System version. I guess it's in the league with a Commodore 64 or a Apple II or something like that. Okay, so let me get out of here. So I'm going to close that. Let's try another game. Pac-Man. I guess it's too fast. I'm gonna have to clock it down a little bit. Go back to uh, options. Put it to four. Restart. I press scroll lock, so I want to use a space bar. Press scroll lock again. I'm back to you, so I could use my controller. Now this is much better in terms of speed. The other time it was too, too darn fast. I don't think it has a... I don't think the software could adjust the speed. Okay, that's good enough. Let's go. Try to create that M3U file. Uh, copy that. Just press F2 and then just highlight that and copy it all. This is a directory I want to send it to. Save as. Type in the name. Dot M three U, and it's all files. And then just save it here. Now let's try to run it. As a M3U file.
go back here. So if you've loaded multiple discs, you can hold one of the trigger buttons and use a D-pad to change the disc. Okay, trigger button. Use L for disc one and R for disc two. The shoulder should be released to insert a disc, okay. Pressing R1, and as you can see on the bottom, I can't read Japanese, so fortunately, I don't know what it's saying. Okay, that's how you change disks. Okay, there's no disk option, but At least I know how to change this now. So let me get out of here. So obviously this game does not work. Okay, this game runs. Let me get out of here. Close this. Try this. Nothing. Try something here. Let's try a different. <laughs> that one really didn't work. It didn't really like that. Try that. Doesn't like that either. Not working either. Try that. Nope, doesn't like it. Try running it. See if it runs.
dark side computer, light side human, okay. Okay, that works. Um, yeah, I think that's that's it for that. So you know how to change disk. You just have to create an M3U file. You need to get the BIOS for this, and you know where to get the games for it. You could also find the games on um, archive.org. <coughs> Wait for that to load up. Just going to put PC 88 games. See what comes up here. Not very much, I guess. But I guess you could find some here. That's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, you could leave them in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.